Don't worry. I'll put you back to sleep, okay? Let's get you covered. I was just going to get ready for bed, but it's alright. I can do that after. First, we should read some books, probably. Some nice bedtime stories. What do you think? here at the foot of your bed. How convenient is that? Let's go ahead and start. The first one is one of my favorites. Madeline. house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo, poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned out the light. She said, something's not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried, her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone, and he dialed Danton 106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room of flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed there was a crank, and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Out 
outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four read a sign outside the door. Tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and they said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light. She said, something is not right, and afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and fast. And she said, please children do, tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls, thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is isn't anymore. That was one of my favorites when I was little. Are you comfortable still? Yeah? Good. I have another book for you. It's a little bit sad. Is that okay? It's a happy sad. Let's try it out. Love you forever. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth and forth, back and forth, and while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old, and he ran all around the house, he pulled all the books off the shelves, he pulled all the food out of the refrigerator, and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at night, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old and he never wanted to come in for dinner and he never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, 
the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she I'll said, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends, and he wore strange clothes, and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day she called up her son and said, You'd better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came to the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang. I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. You're getting so sleepy now. How about just... It's called
called Good Night. It's time for bed, so let's get 